On the ice warming up is group two of the ice dance competitors. The order of skate in this group is as follows. From Uzbekistan, Sun Hye Yu and Ramil Sarkolov. From Austria, Barbara Silna and Dmitry Matsyuk. From Hungary, Kristina Barta and Adam Tot. From Belarus, Ksenia Shmirina and Egor Maestrov. And from China, Xiaoyang Wu and Chen Wang. A few weeks ago, I was talking to Mary Jane Stong, legendary ice dance coach here in Canada. Coach of Olympic bronze medalists Tracy Wilson and Rob McCall. And we were talking about the quality of ice dance and if it had improved under this new system and just what the advantages and disadvantages were. And one of the things she talked about is that these ice dancers can now really skate, even at the less experienced or lower levels. Each of these skaters has to know how to skate. They have to know how to use the edges. It's not just about tearing around the rink. They have to be able to do twizzles. They have to be able to execute turns. She said she has seen a huge improvement in the quality of skating. Now, a person's ability is a person's ability, but still, on the whole, the level of skating that we're seeing in ice dance has improved dramatically. From Austria, Barbara Silna and Dmitry Matsyuk. I'm guessing that's not going to be a Hungarian folk dance. Xiaoyang Yu and Chen Wang of China. They're a beautiful physical match if you look at them. She has great soft knees, so does he. Again, in ice dance, it does not matter really how good the skaters are. If the physical match isn't great, you're only going to be able to do so much. Irina Lobacheva former Russian ice dance champion, along with partner Ilya Averbuch. Here she's a coach. This woman also a legend, Muriel Zazoui, French ice dance coach. Coach of Canadians Marie-France Dubreuil and Patrice Lausan. And if you're just joining us, I'm PJ Kwong. I'm going to be your host for all of the live coverage from Göteborg, Sweden, where we're having the World Figure Skating Championships. You're joining us at the tail end of the warm-up of Group 2 in the original dance. Skaters this season are required to, say, uh, to select folk or country dance music. The idea 
was the ISU was hoping that we would see skaters being able to select music that would reflect their national or cultural heritage. Although the skaters are free to choose whatever music they like as long as it stays within those guidelines. Our first skaters in Group 2 represent Uzbekistan, Sun Hye Yu and Ramil Sarkolov. Their coach is Genrik Sretensky. And they're skating to Russian folk music. This is their first World Championships and only their third international event as a team. Now what the lady is doing when she holds her blade to her head like that is trying to up the level that will be assigned to the spin, the level of difficulty. Sequential twizzles a little bit slow, Sunye having problems on the first one and Ramil on the second one. That curve lift, Ramo standing on one foot, ups again the difficulty. Soon here, originally from Korea, there's their straight line lift. Ramo competed for Uzbekistan. Wasn't ready to finish competing and found this new partner. Circular step sequence. Soon here and Ramil struggling a little bit with the pace of the music. Sun Hye Yu and Ramil Sarkolov representing Uzbekistan.
Sunyi and Ramel are in 26th after the compulsory dance. Some definite problems in their program. There's that curve lift on one foot. Choctaw, which is a type of turn. And coming to the finishing pose. Their coach, Genrik Sretensky. He's the 1986 World Silver Medalist and a three-time European Bronze Medalist with Natalia Nenko. This was a nice dance. This score of 35.08 represents a new season's best for Sun Hye Yu and Ramil Sarkolov. as we looking on. This is Barbara Silna and Dmitry Maciuk of Austria. They're in 21st place after the compulsory dance. They're skating to Kukuk's Jodler Polka, which is an Austrian folk dance. They're the three-time and reigning national champions, 16th at the European Championships. 25th at last year's Worlds. Barbaro is originally from the Czech Republic, and Dmitry originally from Ukraine, and both moved to Austria to represent and train there. Nice feel for the timing throughout this straight line step sequence. Sequential twizzles out of the way. Straight, uh, straight line lift, Dimitri on one foot, making it more difficult. What's nice to watch about this original dance is again, it has a very believable quality. Little arm movements. An interplay between the skaters makes you believe you are watching an Austrian folk dance. This is part of their circular step sequence and into their dance spin.
rotational lift with lots of speed. Charming OD by Barbaro Silna and Dmitry Machuk of Austria. In replay, we're getting a look at the beginning of their midline step sequence. Good unison throughout. This OD, this was their straight line lift. And their rotational lift. Their coach is Jana Hübler. <laughs> Although Muriel Sazui is also on hand. Forty-six point nine zero is a new personal best for Silna and Machu. At this point in the competition, they have a very strong lead. Christina Barta and Adam Tott are 27th after the compulsory dance. They're skating to Inca, which is South American folk music. Their coach, Sandor Nadje and Gabriela Remport. They were 21st at the European Championships. This is their first time to Senior Worlds. Circular step sequence is what opens this program. Some lovely edges. Again, with some of the less adept teams, what you're going to see is a little bit more of a push me, pull you kind of feeling. Separations between them.
Nice sense of timing throughout this midline step sequence. Some of the steps side by side, some of them in mirror reflection. First of the two twizzles. Loss of speed there in the dance combination spin. Rotational lift. Lots of speed. Curve lift, very inventive. Christina and Adam skated this program with great confidence. I'm not sure how well it hit the mark from a skills perspective or in terms of following the technical guidelines. The marks will tell the story. This original dance by Barta and Tot was meant to reflect a South American folk dance. Now, ideally, if the music were off, you should be able to tell by the way their bodies move what it is that they're trying to portray. These sequential twizzles, definitely well done. Good sense of timing. This was a great lift, this curve lift. Look at the balance that's required on the part of Christina as she rests on Adam's thigh. And their final pose. Christina and Adam are from Budapest. Choreographer, Nora Hoffman. This will give them a new personal best. for the original dance. from Belarus. Our next skaters are 29th after the compulsory dance. They were 22nd at the European Championships and are skating to Egyptian music. Ksenia Shmirina and Egor Maestrov.
and Ksenia and Egor are newlyweds, having gotten married in November of 2007. Their dance spin is what opens their original dance. Great edge quality in this midline step sequence. A little bit of a stumble there for Egor. Nice fluid quality. First and there's the second of the two sequential twizzles. Not a lot of speed. Very unusual straight line lift. Rotational lift. Circular step sequence is the last thing in their original dance. Nice knees, good variations of dance holds. I'm not sure just how Egyptian it is, however. Ksenia Shmirina and Egor Maestrov of Belarus. Great presentation, very consistent throughout this original dance. Lovely position on that dance spin. Again with the blade to the head, trying to increase the level assigned to that particular element. Skaters a long way on one foot. Egor stumbling a little bit at this point in the midline step sequence. This lip very interesting. Well done. Irina Lobacheva seated on the right of the television screen, along with partner Ilya Avrabu, 2002 World Ice Dance Champions. The 
This will uh, exceed their old personal best by over four points with a new score of 40.50. Our next skaters represent China, Xiaoyang Yu and Chen Wang. They're in 23rd place after the compulsory dance. They were 22nd in their only appearance so far at the World Championships, which was two years ago. They were eighth at this year's Four Continents Championships. And they're skating to Jewish folk dance music. Hava Nagila, to be more specific. Long deep edges. A long way on. One foot without a second push off. First of the two sequential twizzles made more difficult by holding the free foot. And this variation of arms behind the back for the second twizzle. Not the best angle, uh, angle of, of actually what is a very nice curve lift. Their dance spin. The problem I have with this original dance is that neither the costumes nor the choreography seem to really match the music. in the circular step sequence. Rotational lift was their last element coming in to the close of this original dance. Xiaoyang Yu and Chen Wang from China. They're ca uh, coached by Hong Yan Shi with some help from Genrik Sachensky. Again, in looking at this uh, OD and replay, we can see that they have some lovely edge quality to their skating. The problem is, is that the steps didn't seem to have any kind of connection uh, to 
this music. There's the first of the two sequential twizzles. There's a much better view of that curve lift. So the music really could have been anything, is my point. Timing, better shot again of that curve lift. So definitely not so much a fault of the skaters or of their skating ability, but rather of the vehicle that was chosen for them. At the conclusion of two groups of competitors, the standings are as follows. In the lead from Austria, Barbaro Silna and Dmitry Maciuk. In second from China, Xiaoyang Yu and Chen Wang. In third from Switzerland, Leonie Krehl and Oscar Peter. And the rest of the field follows. In group three, we will see Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget from Canada, the first of our three ice dance teams competing. And here's a look at our current leaders from Austria, Barbaro Silna and Dmitry Maciuk, skating to an Austrian folk dance, absolutely charming original dance. We're going to take a short break now. We hope you're enjoying our ongoing live coverage here on Country Canada. And after this break, stay tuned for a retrospective on 2007 silver dance medalists from Canada, Marie-France Dubreuil and Patrice Lausanne. There will also be more on our top Canadians here at the World Championships, plus three exciting ice dance teams from Canada to come. Stay tuned.